A future for the Amazon, a future for all. We indigenous peoples have always lived fully off nature and in harmony with it. From our ancestors, we gain our vision of the world. That the forest is our house, that the river is our brother, that all the animals and beings that live in the jungle, in the Amazon, are part of us. The Amazon is my house as an indigenous person. It's the large home where I live, the home where I don't lack for anything, from the air to the ground, and everything included in between. The Amazon is home to more than 30 million people, about 3 million of whom are indigenous. It is also a source of life for the entire planet. The destruction of the Amazon is not just a problem for indigenous peoples, but for all of humanity. If the Amazon disappears, it's very probable that all of humanity will disappear. Because it's here that the forests, which are a source of life, are preserved. Los bosques que te dan vida. Where there is the largest reserve of fresh water, multiple specimens of flora and fauna, and we ourselves, the indigenous peoples. But if we continue to be crushed and invaded by strangers, without even a prior consultation, it means that bit by bit, our language, our traditions, our customs, our people die. Muera. Without the Amazon, we will no longer exist. Some say the Amazon is a lung, etc. But more than a lung, for me, the Amazon represents life. It gives me the strength to continue to live, to be able to reinforce my cultural identity. Para decir, oye, momentito. Some say the Amazon is my large house, Help me protect it. Others say, no, we want its foundation. There is oil, minerals, etc. That is something else. What do you prefer? A bunch of resources like oil, gas, gold? That's fine. But at the same time, my life matters. And not just the life of humans. I am proud of my identity. And I have decided with great conviction to defend my big home to defend my life, which resides in the Amazon. I depend on the Amazon. We need to act. What will we leave our children, our grandchildren, our nieces and nephews, if you don't have children, our cousins and future generations? What are we leaving behind? That is the question we need to ask ourselves.